welcome to a solo Rust adventure. And today, I'm going to be stranded on an island. Now, before I explain why, let's go back to the beginning. It was fresh wipe, three o'clock, Monday afternoon. And I was once again planning on torturing myself by playing on a 1000 pop server, because that always goes so well. But anyway, at the start of this journey, my sights were actually on something much different. See, I was looking for a cave. Okay, setting off from the beach with nothing but a rock and torch in hand, I made my journey inland, trying my best to avoid the thousand other players also loading into the server. See, caves being so limited on the map are incredibly competitive to take over. And if I wanted one for myself, I would have to get there first. So after looking at the map, I scanned for all of the potential caves across the island. But there was a problem. None of these caves were in a good location to live in. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. So like every other naked on the server, I made my way towards Outpost, thinking that I'd figure out a plan once I got there. Uh oh. Ah, oh, I need the bag down. Oh shit. I'm fighting this. Come here. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm getting chased. Oh, he's got a spear! Please miss! Oh! Holy shit! That went right past my head. This is insane! There are too many people! I should not have tried to run to Outpost. If I somehow make it, it's a miracle. Oh no, that's not good. Please miss me. Please keep missing. I got the moves. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is a long journey. I've got to go to the other side of that mountain. And it was while making this journey that I noticed something that I had overlooked. The furthest possible location from where I had spawned, the very northeast of the map, was a cluster of islands. And on one of those islands was a cave. But believe it or not, I was no longer interested in the cave. Because what I also noticed was this. A lone stone quarry on an island so far from any other monument that only a madman would try and live there. And well today, as you've probably guessed, that was gonna be me. How on earth do they have a minicopter? I am less than 10 minutes into wipe, that is insane. Well, it's decided I'm not gonna enjoy it, but I have to go live on that island, it is so cool. So all you cave enthusiasts, I apologize. I'll have to do a cave base next video. But now I just have to somehow get there and it is literally the furthest possible point away from me. So uh, it's gonna take a while, but I'm going to probably get myself maybe a nail gun, maybe even a crossbow while I'm here so that I can at least have a better chance of surviving. Right, let's buy some frags and then I think I should be able to get a crossy and a nail gun. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, definitely gonna wanna get some bags seeing as I probably will die on my journey. I do not want to have to go back to the beach. Now at full health, I was ready to begin my trek to the other side of the world. We can all agree that nighttime in Rust is pain. But instead of resorting to this, spend your night times instead playing today's sponsor, Call of Dragons, an epic fantasy strategy game available on both PC and mobile. Dive in and conquer new lands in a stunning fantasy world recruiting elves, orcs, goblins, and more into your forces and build a vast army. Deploy legions consisting of thousands of units and team up with alliance members in rallies armies of over 40 players. Plan ahead and strategize, preparing ambushes or cutting off enemy escape routes, using your wit to gain the advantage. Tamaris is a vast and seamless world, home to icy tundra, scorched deserts, and lush wilderness. But it's not just for show. Utilize natural barriers in warfare, build your city in the perfect location, and seize the high ground to gain power. In Call of Dragons, you can choose from a huge array of magical artifacts, each with unique skills, and equip them to your heroes, pairing them with suitable traits to dominate in the battlefield. So, download Call of Dragons today by clicking the first link in the description, or by scanning the QR code, and make sure to use code CODFANTASY. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video. So. It was time to leave the safety of Outpost and begin my long journey to the island. 
Oh my lord, there are so many people by outpost. I think this is going to be the most dangerous part. I think once I get a little bit further away, things will get quieter. Oh. Ah, oh, a horse would have been huge. Close. Ooh, pig. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Could use the leather, make some armor. Guys running for outpost might have something. Ah. Please pick me up. You know what? He was doing his vodka quest. I'll let, I'll, I'll pick him up, man. He can keep his vodka bottle. I'll let him get his hatchet. It's my one good deed for the day. <laughs> I'm thinking my safest route is to go beneath the mountain, around, and then up. So that I don't have to run through power plant. Take some more free leather. This way I can get a poncho. Wow, it already feels so much quieter. I've beaten the rush and I've made it so far from outpost that finally there are less players around. I mean, there shouldn't be many people up there. It really is in the middle of nowhere. Like, there are no monuments. I'm not going to have a recycler, which is going to be interesting. But, uh, only time will tell. It feels like a complete paradise around here. Barely any players, just so much cloth, so many animals. I kind of want to build around here, but nah, I'm sticking with my island. On a normal wipe, maybe, but not today. Oh, we're getting close. I can feel it, and I'll pass a river too so I can get loads of food, which will be nice, because being up in the desert might be tough. After the long journey, I was closing in on the island. Oh, what the... Oh. What? No. No, 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 no. No way did I just lag there. Bro. No way. I cannot believe, after all that, I die because of lag. Ah. That is tough. But, at least I have bags. Alright. Take two. Here we go. Now, if you guys are looking for a less painful server experience, Make sure to check out the new Wilgem EU Trio server. With its own custom anti-cheat, I hope to see you guys there on launch on the 22nd of Jan, 4pm GMT. Looks like there are a couple of bases popping up around here, but I guess it's by a river, so that's not really surprising. But it shouldn't be too busy. Oh my. Bro. Come on. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Please. Holy shit, I think I'm good. Bro, what is going on? I, I guess that's the nature of 1000 pop server. There's nowhere that's quiet. I am now a little bit worried about this island. Because if there are many other players, I'm going to have a rough time. There it is. <laughs> There's literally nothing there apart from the quarry. I'm just going to have to pray that there are no groups there right now. And that I am the first person there. I think I might be good. I don't see anything. I think I'm the first one here. Oh, thank God. Oh, right. Time to make a home. And finally, after half an hour of trekking across the map, I had made it to the desert island. As the sun set on the first rust day, I farmed as quickly as I could and built my starter home. Right, now trying to decide where to build. I do want a flat spot. But I also don't want to be too in the way. So that, worst case, if there are other people, I can still get by. So I reckon I'll build as close to the road as I can. Maybe over here. This is a nice flat spot. Screw it. Let's do it. I'm not sure I've got quite enough wood. I'm gonna have to go and farm a bit more. Ah, motherfucker. Actually, no, this is good. I need, I need the pig. Ouch. 
Now what's really nice is although I don't have any recyclers on this island, I do have this road which seems to spawn a fair few barrels. And if I am the only person that lives here, these will all be mine. So hopefully, scrap won't be a problem. Ah, there we go. We have a door. We're gaming. I also finally remembered to change my name from Wildrum. Every time I played, I'd be like, shit, I forgot to change it. And then I would forget to change it. But I, I remembered. Don't worry. Come here. There's another one. Oh, this island is plentiful with animals. Now, because the nearest recycler is literally 10 grids away, <laughs> I think my only chance this wipe of recycling is going to outpost. But it does mean that getting metal frags might be a challenge, so I'm just going to have to make sure that I keep furnaces going. And of course, it would be wrong not to craft a bear rug immediately. The sun was rising on the second rust day, and with the base down, I was feeling confident. But in time, I would begin to discover the real challenges of living on a stranded island, because the real journey was only just beginning. Alright, now before anyone else gets here, which they might, I'm going to make sure that I farm every node that I can find. Because if I am competing for the same few nodes with other players, things can get rough. Oh no, there's a base up there. Wait, there's only twig though. Oh, and they put down a tool cupboard on the quarry? That is not ideal. Wait, that's him farming there. Ooh, maybe I can kill him before he gets the tool cover down. Don't want to jump off the horse in case he tries to take it. There we go. Gotcha. Now, did I get it in time before he got a tool covered? Ooh, he still had his bag on him. That's good. That means he might not have any other respawns. Hmm, blocks TC. But, I can break that foundation. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. If I can get him gone before he even gets a base down, I might be able to stop him from ever coming back. Because there's nothing harder than recovering from a bad start in the desert. Because there's just no cloth, no farm. So I might be able to get this guy to give up. Oh. oh. Holy shit! <laughs> Bro, where did that guy come from? I guess this guy wasn't a solo. Even more reason I need to get them gone right now. Nothing? Oh, come on, man. I didn't- I wasn't expecting much, but I didn't think there'd be nothing in there. Actually, wait, I'm gonna get rid of all the foundations. Bye-bye there, base. A successful farming run, and I'd managed to eliminate a competitor for my island. At least for now. Alright, first up, I wanna try and get the scrap for a workbench level 1. So let's see what the road has to offer. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good night. Oh. It's off. Ooh, that is huge. And this guy looks like he was about to try and build as well. Oh my gosh, that timing from my part is incredible. If I'd missed him, he would have had a base up in seconds. Well, that's another person trying to build on the island who I have shut down. With already seemingly so many players looking to also build on my island, I had to take action and stop that from happening. And so, to put people off building at the quarry, I got to work on some externals. Oh, horse. Man, I might be able to catch that guy. I need to at least scare him off. Get away! This is my island. Oh, there is no way I'm catching him. His horse is too quick. God damn it. This guy's metal hatchet has come in clutch. I am very grateful for getting it. I reckon if I build a few externals around the quarry, it will at least put off any groups from coming to try and take it over and building walls around it, which definitely could happen. Plus, it means that if I want to, I can take it over myself at some point. 
seems like the nodes are spawning fairly quickly on this island, which is good. Because it could have been a struggle if there weren't many nodes. There we go. Well, I at least have two externals now, so no one else can come and just immediately take it over, which is good. I have just realized I have a big problem. And that is that where on earth am I going to get cloth from this wipe? <laughs> I have no recycler. I live in a desert. The only place I can get cloth is from cactuses. Oh, today is going to be rough. Yeah, getting cloth was definitely going to be a problem this wipe. But that was something that I'd have to deal with later on. Because now, I had more imminent issues. Oh. Oh, he's just going to put his stuff in the tool cupboard. Okay, I've got to kill that guy just because he might have some stuff on him. Can't let him get away with this. <laughs> okay, this is going to be awkward. There we go. Yep, same guy as earlier. Hmm. I think I need to get rid of that tool cupboard. He might have just put quite a lot in there as well. Either way though, it's good that I keep killing him. This guy is definitely going to be very sad by now. In an attempt to put off more players from building on the island, I decided to build another base at the highest, most visible points of the whole area. While this wouldn't dissuade any groups, it might stop the occasional solo who's passing by. Alright, well this is also in the same location that that guy wanted to build, so at least maybe he won't come back now. Now I've killed him every time he's come back and built in his area. This is my island. Get away! Alright, now I don't want to jinx anything, but considering where I live, this hasn't been too slow of a start. It's actually going pretty okay. It is definitely now time to get myself a furnace, though. I've been putting this off for too long. I feel very vulnerable in my full wood base. Shit, horse coming. What? No way. Oh! What? A double headshot doesn't kill a wolf head. Wow. I did not know that. That is devastating, man. I could have killed them both. Fuck. Ooh, cleaver. Well, it doesn't look like those guys were hanging around here long. I was worried that they might have been over here to build. But I don't see any sign of them, so I think they might have just kept on going. I need this metal cooking quickly. Gotta get a metal door down ASAP. It's really nice how uh, fast the nodes seem to be spawning. I was worried I'd have to go over inland to farm, but I think I might be okay just doing it here. Right, I see a bunch of nodes around the corner rocks, so I'm going to quickly grab all those. And now for the painful task of manually farming cloth. Oh, God. Uh-oh. More people on my island. I don't like it. I don't like all these groups around. Oh my gosh. These guys are beamers. The hell? Get away. I don't like this at all. It seemed as though my island was getting busier by the minutes. And the more players around, the harder I would find to get things done. When you're stranded in the corner of the map, there aren't exactly many options for you to go. But now that some metal had smelted down, I was able to craft a workbench level 1. 
Maybe armed with some better weaponry, I'd have a chance of defending my island. But before I could do that, I had a plan. I crafted up some gunpowder, made some handmade shells, and prepared to raid the exposed tool cupboard and take it over for myself. Uh oh, there's a horse coming. I think I'm just gonna deposit the shells in there just in case he comes my way. That's the same guy from earlier, on the same horse. I gotta go after him, but he's actually stopped. Oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That was such a good chance. But I fucked it. God oh, damn it. Alright, well, that is a good amount of damage done already. Now I can start with the shells. Going loud. Oh, big loot. Look at that. <laughs> God damn it. Surely he had more in that tool cupboard than that. That is a shame. Well, at least that means we can be confident he's not coming back. <laughs> I think we officially scared that guy away from the island. Ooh, pickaxe. That's actually good. The second night of wipe had arrived, and not wanting to waste time, I used the darkness to farm up some wood and cloth. Hey, you know what? I think it is finally time to get a metal door on this base. I have procrastinated that perhaps a little too long today. Well, I must say, this has probably been one of the most peaceful experiences I've had on 1000 Pop Rust. So I guess if you are looking for a, you know, fairly chilled out experience, maybe going to the edge of the world isn't a too bad idea. Oh no, these doors are going to drive me insane. <laughs> I need a workbench level 2. I gotta get the garage door. Alright, we've got a crossbow. I'm rocking the new chrome skin that I just bought. Probably didn't need another crossbow skin, but, but I wanted it, okay? Working towards the workbench level 2, I headed out farming the road along my island, grabbing every component that I could. This is so weird, just being literally in the middle of nowhere. I have no monuments, nothing, just a dirt track in the stone quarry. And, I, oh, and I'm kind of loving it. Well, that wasn't half bad for a short little road farming run. Looks like uh, components aren't going to be too much of a challenge this way. It was about time I got a little more storage than two small boxes. Wait, there's a horse farmer up there. Oh, I want to kill him, but it's going to be so tough when he's got that horse. He can just ride away as soon as he sees me. Ooh. No. No, he's too fast! It's the same guy, bro. Just zooms away. There's nothing I can do about it. Fuck! Need a revolver or something. Who the hell was this? A random naked. Oh, got a pickaxe. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, he's back. No, you better not just ride off. Bro! Oh, this guy is so annoying, man! Just keeps riding away. Oh, no. Oh, that little weasel, man. Oh, I have to kill this guy. No, I'm mad now. I'm getting him. Needing revenge on this slippery solo that had been riding past me all day on his horse, I knew that I needed to make a revolver. Right, I 
this guy has been going back and forth across my island, and I think he lives on the south side. So if I craft this quick enough, I might be able to catch him on his way back. Come on, come on, come on. I just need some ammo. Right, that will probably be enough GP. Get myself a helmet. Put that away. All right. Bucket. 85 health. Let's do this. Please tell me he's still still going. I haven't missed him. Let's see him. I'm gonna wait on the top of the ridge up here. Wait, that's his horse. What the fuck? Maybe he found another one. I'm gonna crouch just in case he's around here somewhere. That would be odd for him to leave a white horse, because they're the fastest. Wait, he is here. What the fuck? Wait, surely I kill him now. Yes! Oh, that is what he gets. He is so greedy. Oh, yes. Yeah, I needed this. This is so good. I'm down so tremendous that I will take every bow that I can get. Let's go, dude. Oh, and we have a full stamina horse. See, that is what you get for being greedy. He wanted that pig so badly that he lost his entire inventory for it. Let's go. Thank you for that donation. We chill. Getting some sweet, swift revenge on that solo was nice. But more importantly than the loot, I now had a fast horse. And I wasn't going to put that to waste. See, living on a stranded island came with some problems. While there were plenty of node spawns, trees were quite rare to come by. But I now had a solution. With a fast horse, I could now cover some great distances. It was time to head to Outpost. All right, I have a long way to go, but on this horse, I should get there pretty quick. I'm just gonna grab as many stone nodes as I can along the way, and then hopefully buy a shit ton of wood. Uh oh. Oh, I cannot go down there. Of course I can't. God, I love terrain. I think I'm good. It's just one bow guy. Yep. I could fight him, but I don't want to risk losing this horse, honestly. Bro, is there anywhere I can go? I just want to get downhill. Screw it. We're just going straight past him. Oh, thank God I can go this way. Okay. <laughs> We're in the clear. Oh my God. Oh my god! Bro, thank god I have a horse. Fucking six people just come out of a bush. Yeah, there is no way you can make this run <laughs> without some type of transport. Too many players. Right, let's see if I can get there without running into anyone else. Oh, no, no, I spoke too soon. What the fuck? Oh my god, there are people everywhere! Bro, how does anyone live by outposts? Go, 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 go. I'm clenched. Oh, I think we're good. Holy shit. Hey, Alright, let's just mark home real quick so I know which way I'm going. Okay. I will also mark outposts as well for future. Here we go. Fellow gamer on a horse over there. Just gonna ride past each other, okay. Don't mind me. I'm almost there. Almost there. Oh, I did it. Holy shit. That was a stressful run. I didn't think it would be that difficult to get to Outpost, but I now have an inventory of wood. Which means hopefully for the rest of today, I don't have to farm anymore. We chill. With some extra wood finally sorted, it was time to expand a little on the base. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be a scuffed jump. <laughs> oh no. I mean, it works. Oh, and the bear rug's in the way too. I think today we're just gonna go with a really simple, expandable hexagon base. Nothing too crazy, but it'll be nice and strong with some honeycomb. It'll be enough to get me through. I hope. Oh, that weasel just stole my horse. Unbelievable. I'm not having that. Oh, man. I gotta go after him. I gotta go after him. This might be very stupid chasing him, but I want my horse back. Bro, where did this guy go? He's just vanished. I mean, it was a fast horse, to be fair. He's nowhere to be seen. Bro, this whole area is just completely abandoned. There's even a train station right there. It's kind of crazy. Oh. That's a pretty big base over there. Oh, I guess that's the missile silo group. Kind of makes sense. I mean, I kind of want to go and explore. Maybe they stole my horse. Let's go have a look. Oh. Oh, these guys are very active. See a couple of them. Oh. Wait, hang on a minute. That guy's coming back this way. Oh, I reckon he's running back to the base. I can do something here. Oh! Nice little double headshot. Oh, they're already coming out. Oh, I need to be so fast. That's got a full road sign. I'm out. I'm out. Go, go, go! Uh oh. Oh, what? Bro, I have a fucking army after me, apparently. From every direction. I'm so dead. Oh, my- that's it. <laughs> What the fuck? Did... Okay. Yep. Uh... I guess I can't go this way. So, the missile silo, maybe not the best place for me to go as a solo. Now, I still needed quite a bit of scrap for a workbench level 2. And that's when it hit me. There was one big area that I had yet to farm, and that was the sea. And luckily, living by the shore, there were plenty of boats around. So, I crafted a revolver and headed out in the hunt for scrap. There is a guy farming that barrel pile right there, and I don't think he's seen me. I might be able to catch up to him if I can do this fast enough. Go, 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 go! I just hope he doesn't have a diving tank, that'll be awkward. Oh, Calvin! Surprise, motherfucker! Oh. And he's gone. Oh no, I hear the tank. He is diving. That's a shame. He's probably just gonna swim away. I'm gonna lay low and wait a while. He might come back for his boat. Nothing in the stash. Oh. Wait. Did I just kill him? No way! <laughs> he was not expecting that! Hey, not bad. Got some scrap, and we got a diving tank, which is huge, because now if I get rushed, I can just jump in the water. The ocean is great. It's kind of a solo's best friend, actually. I always say this, but I do need to use it more, because if you have a spear gun and a diving tank, you are, like, pretty invincible. I mean, obviously, if you run into a whole group with spear guns, that's a different story, but for the most part, I feel like it's as safe and as fair fighting as you can ever be as a solo. There's another guy farming the water over there. Let me see if I can catch him. Wait, he's coming my way. Maybe he doesn't see me. I think he saw me, damn it. And we're going after him. The chase is on. Come here, bitch. Oh, this guy is booking it. He doesn't want to mess around. Oh, I think he lives there. He's landed right on the shore. 
Bro, he lives even further out than I do. Nah, not buying that. Don't want to push his base. Never know, could be more in there. Let's go home with the farm that I have. The peaceful island life. It's been an interesting day so far. So different to my usual experience on these servers. I'm less angry than I normally am because I've had less <laughs> infuriating fights than usual. That being said, I am still rocking a revolver like two hours in. So, you know, I guess that's the, that's the drawback. But hey, if you're having fun, why does it matter? Look at that, 200 scrap. Only fucking three more of those and we got a workbench level two. Oh, fuck my life. I hear someone farming barrels on my island and that just won't do. I'm coming for you. Yeah, back off. Get out of here. We're getting there, we're getting there slowly, building up the components too. Nice thing is, because I can never recycle, I'm just I'm always going to have lots of components, because they don't go anywhere. I am very much noticing the lack of frags though. It is tough just not being able to recycle shit like sheet metal and semi-bodies. But, we move. There we go, we got a lot more space in here now, got some extra storage, I'm gonna get these large boxes down in the core to sort this out properly. Now before I see it in the comments, I know barrels give more storage, but listen, I like my skins, okay? I like using large boxes because I have the box skins, so just deal with it. There we go, we got some basic organization, nothing too crazy. But, uh, better than I usually do at this point in time, so hey, no complaints. Another night in Rust. Three hours into wipe, after taking a break, I returned into the next day. Question was, had anything changed on my island in the time I'd been gone? Okay, I don't see any bases, which is good. I was worried I'd open up my door and there'd be like a clan base right there. <laughs> Double barrels. Wait. Are they raiding my door? <laughs> they are, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, they're raiding that little starter base I built. Wait, I hope these guys don't have a base over here somewhere. Oh no. Okay, it's the best revolver player I've ever seen. Ah, oh, this is bad. He turned around at the worst time. Oh my god, it's more than two. He hits that? Oh, it's so many! What the fuck? Bro, I saw like five! <laughs> Even six! I really hope these guys don't live here. That was incredibly bizarre. A six man eco raiding my, uh, <laughs> my starter. Oh. Holy shit! I don't know where that guy came from, but okay. After my break, I headed out on a quick farming run to restock my furnaces. And with that done, I shifted my focus back onto farming the last bit of scrap for the workbench level 2. But this is when I ran in to a problem. Hey, someone left this horse over here. I will take it. Oh, that guy was very geared. Definitely had a Saar or a Thompson or something. Let's see if he's farming around here. Oh wait, maybe he comes back. Hey, there's a uh, naked on the beach over there. Looks like he's got something on his back though. I'm gonna wait right here. Wait, what the fuck? Bro, that guy has a whole kit on him. Uh oh. I have a feeling he's with the guy who was on the horse as well. Okay. Oh, this guy thinks I'm cheating. <laughs> Bro, I've got to kill him fast because I bet- Yep, I knew that guy would be with him. Fuck! I'm so dead. Yep. Damn. Unfortunately, I died. But I didn't think much of it. 
and I hadn't recognized the name. But if you remember, this was a member of a very large group. The ones currently running the missile silo. And I would soon come to realize just what this meant for me. Oh, twig base right there. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I think these guys are building a quarry base. This is not good. Yep, it seemed that this group had decided that they wanted to use the stone quarry. And I was hearing them build and build and upgrade some more. Naturally, I did some upgrades of my own, as you never know who they might target for raids. But the threat of a raid was almost less important than the real problem I now had. See, out of anywhere on the entire island, they were building their quarry fortress right outside my front door and it didn't seem like they were leaving anytime soon. Oh, bro, this is so annoying. I can't walk out my front door because they're just holding it with like three SARS on top of the quarry. They've just got it running non-stop and I literally can't do anything. This is the real problem of living on an island at the very edge of the map. If there's one annoying group in the way, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. And so, I waited, and I waited, and with no option to even leave my base, there was nothing else I could do but sit back and get on with other stuff while leaving Rust on in the background. And even on my return four hours later, they were still there, running the quarry. Ah, <sighs> well, I kind of figured after I disappeared for four hours, I would come back to find them long gone, but... I don't know if they've been using it the entire time. I don't know what group needs that much stone, but they are very much still here. Okay, nice little roof camp tower right there. And yep, they are literally still running the quarry. I see three or four. I've heard an AK, LR, Thompson over there as well. Oh, this is rough. Now I know big groups like this, when they see bases around monuments, they often do raid them. So I'm just gonna upgrade my base a little because there's a chance they decide to just do a little roam raid. Oh, okay. I feel like I've kind of manifested that into happening. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm all right, I think I'm okay. I've already crafted a DB. I don't think they're gonna waste 20 odd satchels on me. I might even just seal that triangle in, sort of like a makeshift bunker. Just pick it out if I need to. There's no way they have enough for all this. Okay, let's see if there's someone sitting behind the door. Let's seal this quickly. I feel like I'm good. But there could be someone on the roof. There was someone on the roof. Holy shit. I kind of didn't think there would be. All right. I'm glad I sealed that triangle. I'm just going to sit here with a DB. After hearing more upgrades inside the base, it seemed that the raiders lost interest and moved on to an easier target. Oh, they're exploring someone else now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I knew they wouldn't have enough to just casually roam raid me. It's a fairly strong base, even without garage doors. I think I'm probably okay now. Oh. Yeah. We're chilling. Well, it has been another hour, and I can confirm they are still running. <laughs> they are still running the stone quarry. <laughs> Bro. Oh, I'm so glad I don't just have tonight to play because I'm not really able to play much on this island right now. Oh, fuck. Okay, and they're still alert. All right. And finally, after what felt like an eternity, the sound of the quarry stopped. They had finally gone. 
this experience perfectly summing up the serious challenges that come with stranding yourself on an island. With an unbeatable competition, even just one group can make survival impossible. Luckily, I was in no rush and was happy to wait the hours. Ah, oh, with them gone, it's like back to my paradise again. <laughs> Farm in the road, chill all on my own. That's a quick 100 scrap. We're actually not too far off tier two. Wait, who's this? Good hit. Ow. Oh, shit. Yeah, the guy behind me has a shotgun of some type. Oh, it's a pump! No! Wait, why is that actually doing damage to me? Oh, what the fuck? He's gonna kill me. No! Ah! Oh, I just gotta hit him once. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. He's not dead! Bro, he's medding! Bro, please die! Oh no! I'm gonna bleed out. Ah! Oh, wait! Come on, please have a med, please have a med. Oh. No way I win this. No way. Come on. Oh. Ah. I'm fumbling. No! 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 That guy was so bad! Okay, okay, I've gotta go back. I can win this. He's still here! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he saw me. Come on, please, man. Nice. Oh, I can't hit him. Wait, he's running. Oh, he's so scared. Oh, come on, dude. These arrows are going so close. Oh, he's still alive. He's so bad. <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> oh, that might have been the worst P2 player I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to let that guy get the first body just in case it was juiced. That was a nice little win. Got myself a Pumpy and a P2. Let's see, was it worth it? Ooh, that diving gear. It's actually quite good. Thank you very much. Now let's just check the other bodies real quick. After another short farming run, I was now getting very close to the workbench level 2. And after fortunately finding myself a horse on the beach, I attempted one big run to outpost to recycle for both cloth and the remainder of the scrap. All right, here we go. Now the server should be a little quieter now. I think there are only about seven or 800 people on. So this should in theory be slightly easier to run than earlier. A piece of cake wasn't even a problem. You know what, with the leftover scrap, I'm just going to buy some tack gloves, just to get even more cloth while I'm here. Oh, look at that. A thousand cloth, that is a beautiful sight. After spending the whole of today with less than 50 in my tool cupboard. Home! I made it. Let's go. That feels good. And while normally, getting a level 2 workbench doesn't seem like much of an achievement, today, living in the circumstances I have, this felt great. Immediately, I crafted up some garage doors to make my base even stronger. Oh, now the best part is, I don't have to do any more awkward jumps through that annoying-ass double door. Ah, oh, thank the lord. And 
and when morning came, the first thing I did was craft myself a saw and head out on a short farm. Where did that guy come from? I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> guy just appeared. Well, not bad, he had some farm. I'm gonna go home with that. And now with a good amount of loot to protect, I had to make sure that my base would survive the night. So I added some simple honeycomb to make it a 12 rocket raid. I'm going to seal up that doorway on the second floor, make it so you have to come through the roof if you want to raid me. And lastly, before calling it a night, I went to go chop a little bit of wood. Bro, I have to go so far just to find like any clump of trees. This island has been an interesting experience, but it's been tough, I'm not gonna lie. It's obviously been very quiet at times, but my god, is it hard to get any sort of loot. Wait, this guy's running straight for me. He looks geared as well, I'm gonna bait him. I reckon he'll chase me around this rock. Is he coming? Oh yeah, he's coming. Shit, I don't think he saw me. Night night. Definitely had a good gun. Ooh, saw. And a jackhammer. Fuck yeah, we take that. Let's go, baby. Ah. <sighs> and with that, I think I'm gonna call it for the night. An interesting day. I sealed up the base, made some final upgrades, and went to bed. But it's not over yet because I return to the island once again for day two. Oh, didn't get raided. Well, that's a miracle. Not gonna lie, I was expecting to be gone. Question is, how much has my island changed overnight? Oh, I forgot, I sealed that up. Okay. It looks no different. Wow. I am genuinely surprised. Naturally, to kick off any day, I did a short farm. Wait, I definitely just heard someone. Bro, what? What was anyone doing down there? I feel like he's got to have a teammate. You know what, just to be safe, I'm gonna ride my horse all the way round and down so that I don't have to climb back up that cliff. Oh, how many bags does this guy have on the shore? What? Ah, there he is. Oh my word, okay. I don't know what he was doing, but I'll take it. Well, thank you, good sir. I appreciate the farm. After depositing in base, I headed straight back out to explore a monument nearby that I had yet to travel to, and that was the train tunnel. There's a train coming. Oh shit. No, the fucking scientist got in the way. Wait, they're not jumping out. Oh bro, they're scared. They didn't even jump out. That's right, they better run. I don't really have the ammo for that. Oops. I 
don't really want to go any further because I don't want to chase those guys that went down the train. They could be waiting for me at the next stop. Well, there we go. Successful uh, train farming run. I just heard some Tommy shots over there. Let me see if there's a new base or something. I wonder if they ever raided my TC. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro! I just wanted to see if my tool cupboard was still there. Holy shit. Um. That is insane. Did I really just get killed by a combo after that? <laughs> ah, yep. A rogue compound bow naked on the island at the perfect time. Classic rust. I had to go back. Oh, it's these guys. Of course, they just happened to be on the island with a comp bow at that exact second. I cannot believe that. Little Weasel gets away with everything because he was in the right place and now he's going to come back with a saw. Oh, that is infuriating. Damn, he literally just looted my body and fucking dipped. He wasn't hanging around. Well, that's the saw back at least. Oh well, looks like I got a lot of stone. Oh! Oh my god, that guy's low. Hey! Bit of a P2 machine. Oh my, there's another one?! I'm so dead. Never mind. Holy shit. I'm different. Why do I feel like there's another saw? I don't know. Ah, <sighs> well I can't believe I just gave them four rows of metal ore and sulfur for free, but now ah, well. While I may have missed out on the ore, what I did get was a lot of stone. So, I decided to do some upgrades. Nice little watch point from my entrance. There is a hazzy crossing the water just up ahead. I'm gonna wait from over here. Should be a free kill. have anything? Custom. Nothing else. And a grenade for some reason. Oh. Damn. I don't know where that guy came from. There's actually nothing over there. Oh. Uh. <laughs> where did that compound come from? I wasn't there like 40 minutes ago. I just want to get some food, man. Well, uh, that's going to make things interesting. Bro, it is insane how many bases are built around here. Literally in the middle of nowhere. It's crazy. People on the server are crazy. I thought I was the only one mad enough to do this, but look at that. Like, what? For what reason? There's nothing here. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm dead. Unless... Ow. Wait, maybe. Night, night. Oh, that guy really just got sat down. He thought he messed with the wrong dude. Right, well, with that compound right next to me and active, I'm not really going to be able to do much. <laughs> 
again, unfortunately. I mean, they're just sitting on their roof right now, and they got turrets, multiple people. God, it's tough living on an island like this. Now there's a group there, I don't even know how I can, like, go to that side. My only choice is going to the mainland. Ah well, at least we have a cute little refinery in our base now, and I've made it so that the entrance is not looking directly at their roof, so I can at least leave my base without getting camped. And so, surrounded by groups on all sides, and feeling like I'd finally exhausted this island for all it had to offer, I headed on one final roam to the mainland. Wow. I feel like on a less popular- these guys have turrets all around their base, that is weird. I feel like on a less populated server, you could definitely live on an island like this and it would be fine. But I think on a server just this dense, you're just making your life really, really hard. Because it's inevitable there are going to be lots of groups around, and if you can't get to the key monuments and recyclers, then my god is it tough. I mean, I am literally in the middle of nowhere right now, and look at all of the bases everywhere. It's crazy. This is only day two. Even here, by this river, all of these bases, no monuments, nothing. Oh! Oh! Holy shit. Guy pulled the fucking double but He killed my horse! No! What the fuck, dude? He killed Pickles. No! What am I gonna do? Oh, look at that base down there. God damn. Ah, well, it's been a fun experiment, living on an island like that. It's been challenging, but you know what? It's been fun. Oh. I did see someone. I am dead. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna call it there. I don't want to torture myself on this island anymore. It's done. I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm going to build a cave base, I think. That would be fun. Unless you guys have some new ideas. I'm intrigued to hear. But with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed my suffering. Wiljum.